Hey, what's up, everybody? <clears throat> Going over my little uh, prototype porting job here. Uh, this is a Crossman valve, and I'm doing a couple little videos here to just kind of show what I've been doing and what's been making power. Let's get this out of there. Okay, so on these valves, remember they just come in straight and then needle valve goes directly out okay so now this I basically created a valve pocket and you can just see how rolled back this is in there me and my caffeine fingers this morning okay <clears throat> if you look inside of here all the way back Yep, all the way back down inside of there. Goes all the way back in there. You're only gonna be able to do that by hand porting these. I just bought a uh I bought a pumped up valve, I'm not gonna mention names, but from a company that's doing pretty well. I've been buying some stuff from him. Uh his valve has one little I mean you can just see he kind of just goes in like right there and you know just a little like that okay if you really want to make some power you guys got a dremel you guys can get in here you basically want to start it's so tight I mean this is magnified pretty good but you're porting through like I don't even know what it is bit maybe an eighth inch size I mean look at this this is this this is a Dremel chuck, okay? That that that's the chuck, that's the the neck, the shaft that's going to go inside of a Dremel tool, okay? So this looks a lot bigger than it is, but we all know how small those are. I mean, look at my fingers. This thing is tiny. You try getting in here and hand porting one of these valves without screwing up this face valve here. Or, you know where your transfer port's gonna sit. It can be pretty tricky. But what I wanted to show everybody was with just the right tools. Let's see if you can get this in there. Okay. With that little baby right there. Let's see if I can get it to screen in. There you go. With that little baby right there on like setting 25. Okay. You want high speed. It's going to cut a lot cleaner. You're going to have more torque when you're hogging, when you're removing material. Okay, Remember that. This one goes higher, obviously, but I like 25. It cuts good. I have good control over the bit. It doesn't jump around, so that's just personal preference. But anyway, so boom, little tiny ball head cutter. Okay, That's going to get you started in there. Okay, Normally, you're going from this side, you know. You're not going from this side, and you're coming in, and you just got to get the hole going here before you can begin to work your way at an angle. But then as you get in there, you want to just start rolling this over all the way out. Work your way out. Stop a bit. Pull it out after it's done spinning. You don't want to keep opening up this transfer port coming in and out, in and out. You're just going to hog that throat out. You do not want to do that, okay? Try to get some light in here if I can. Uh, not really, okay. Anyway, oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, anyway, this is the better way to be able to view this. So, yeah, it's like what I did. So, now... Everything is rolled all the way back inside of there, just like a valve pocket. This freaking camera's such a pain in the ass. Okay. So anyway, get down inside of there. There's your there's your tough angle. This is the one you really want to form because in cylinder heads, in cylinder heads. It's all about going from a big 
opening, okay, down to a smaller opening, which is going to create your velocity. And then now inside of here, that's where all that turbulent air and everything, it needs to be coaxed into one smooth opening, like a blowgun, okay? Now, you can see that. I mean, you can see the threads, okay, past the valve seat on the other side. That's how much material you can remove out of these. You got, you got tons of material in here. I ain't going to go nowhere. But the way this is going to shoot up, it is going to create, it has created, I'd say probably another, I want to say like another 110, 100, 110, 120 feet per second, just doing this one modification with the addition. Let me show you in here. Taking out, there's a big lip right down inside of here. A great big old lip, like a machining mark, where they leave about almost a sixteenth of material and all your air is rushing this way when that valve opens to go through your little hole here and up through your transfer port so get in there with your little bit and just work that edge so you don't have any just like unshrouding a valve you just don't want any sharp you know you just want to radius everything contour everything you know you got threads up here obviously but they're going to be covered up because I'm not cutting any more threads off of this valve. This is an ABA test. We're putting this thing back together, sewing it up, getting our lines marked up. Boom. It's going back in there. So thanks for watching. I'm going to let you know how this one turned out. Thanks again.